Hey YouTube, today in this video I'm going to share with you how to make channel intro on Kindmaster. Before I jump to this video, Kindmaster recently made an update. So if you want a premium asset, all you got to do is watch an ad. And if you want to export your clip, all you got to do is watch the ad again. So that way it's completely free without paying the monthly subscription. Now I'm gonna jump to Kindmaster, let's do the two quick shoutouts. The movie trivia shoutout goes to Crazy Staples, and yes, the quote was from Wonder Woman, so congrats on getting that right, and shout out to you. And the everyday fan shoutout goes to Chewy the Dog, thank you so much for being supportive on my channel, and shout out to you. First, of course, open Kindmaster, then click Create Project, 16 to 9. Now what you want to do is get any random video over 10 seconds long. The clip should be 10 seconds long, but intro should be never longer than 7 or 10 seconds long. Click media, then all, then choose that clip, then click check mark. Now this clip is completely irrelevant from our intro, but it has to be as a layer for this thing to work. First things first, mark this clip, then click mixer on the right corner, and completely mute all the audio. And the reason is this clip can't have any audio because it's some nonsense clip. Then you click check mark. Now you click this clip. Now if you don't have any pictures or something cool, you can click this store. Now you can get any photo or stuff like that. Now let's click this VHS at retro. I already have it installed, but if not, just install it. Basically, if you already have it, click layer. Then click media. Then on the left side, instead of video, click photo. Then click images, and then choose the one you like. For example, we're going to choose a simple one right here. Stretch it to the full screen, and then expand it as long as you want the intro to be. Let's say we're going to make it 7 seconds, and there you go. Now you click the key on the left side with the circle. Click the circle with the plus sign under animation. Move the timeline just slightly, then turn and zoom in these layers with your fingers. For example, like this. And as you can see, it created a keyframe on the bottom. Then move it a little bit more. And then turn it the other way. And then you could zoom in. Move a little bit more. And you could repeat the process. Now we put it straight. Then we move the timeline more. We're gonna add another keyframe manually with your finger. Then when you're done, you can click check mark. And now we're gonna add some text. So we basically go to layer, then click text, and then type whatever you want, obviously your channel, I guess. I'm just gonna type Chris GTX, and there's your text. Obviously you can click the font, and then choose any font that you really like. Let's just click this area around it, empty boat. You can change the text color too. Now before I do this so I can actually see the text, I'm going to highlight it because I'm going to put it completely black. So basically scroll down and then click glow. Then click enable and then click the color. Then change it to whatever you like. We're going to actually try to match the color of the picture. Let's say purple and then click check mark. And now this is where the magic happens. So you have the spread and the size. All right, it looks okay now. Now let's click check mark. Now we're gonna change the color of the text to black. And now look at this. Cool, right? We're gonna slightly reduce the glow because it's a little bit too much. Now stretch the text to the same length as the pur purple picture and click check mark. Now you highlight the text, click the key. Now let's say you wanna rotate the same way the picture moves. So basically move the timeline and where it stops the first move, you see like right here. Basically turn the text the same way and resize it if you want. And you see another key frame was created by itself. Now move the timeline again until you see the move stops and rotate the text again. As you can see, the, another keyframe was created. Then keep doing this for the entirety of the purple picture. And now click check mark. And we're gonna cut the clip that's irrelevant, the one with me. So basically highlight the clip, click trim split, then click trim to right of playhead. Basically, we want to make it the same length as the intro we're going to do. Now we're going to choose some music. So you click basically music. Now you can go to the store, but I already downloaded this clip. So basically, we're just going to click it. Click the plus sign, and there's your song. 
And then of course put the song at the beginning of the intro clip. Now, I'm not sure if this is copyrighted music. Obviously, I'll find out when I post a video. Probably the moment you're playing this video, I already know. Do your own research because I never use Kindmaster Music, so I'm not sure if it's copyrighted or not. Then click the arrow to export. Adjust it to good resolution, high quality, and etc. Then click export. And done. Let me show you the clip. Obviously, you can add some other effects like explosions, fire, but this is just generally how to make a channel intro. I'm gonna give you a movie quote. This is a pretty old movie, and the quote is from the bad guy in the movie. I'm gonna read it now. Two years I invested myself into it. You couldn't understand that kind of commitment that I have. You ruined the man's life's work. You think you can walk away? You have blinders on to the world, but I got your attention now, didn't I, Jack? This movie is an amazing movie, but besides the point, wh whoever gets it first and correctly gets a shout out in the next video. And if you want other Kind Master videos, make sure to click this playlist. There's a lot of them in there. Thank you so much for watching, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!